everyone. I am, I am more than delighted to greet you this morning and I'm talking to you from my living room. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you except welcome. And it is one of the four best days of the year. <laughs> we used to only have one best day, but now we'll have four. And every year when we do this, I try to think about what I should tell you about BAM books. The American Library Association started it 32 years ago. We've been at it for 23 years. We started down at the Thackeray Family Bookstore and we, the American Civil Liberties Union, Toledo area, were in charge of it at that point. We got involved, I took some of my students and they did a 24 hour readathon. So guess who did the graveyard shift? So I take, my students there and we'd be there from about two in the morning until seven or eight. And then we'd go across the street for pancakes at Uncle John's. And it was fun, it was always fun. And Barry's Bagels at some point in the night would bring us coffee and warm bagels. And so they've been a sponsor from the very beginning the UT Credit Union and the UT Bookstore were the first two when we came on to campus. And Marge at the Credit Union helped me figure out how to get door prizes. I'd never done that before. She helped me. She listened to my pitch. I'll never forget it. And then she handed me a ruler on her desk and she said, good job. Next year we will have more. And my goodness, this year they gave us 20 items to give away. And the athletic department did too. So we are just blessed. And Phoenicia, which has been with us for many years, also is giving us a couple of certificates for dinners. We're just very lucky to have these people in our corner. The Honors College also gave us store prizes. So usually it's a list of 45 or more and we make a huge poster and we post it in the room. This year because of CDC regulations, we could not dispense as much because you have to take precautions and it ha everything has to be handled extremely carefully. So, but we will have a door prize for every session and we will have a gift card, a $20 gift card from the bookstore too. And that will be three actually because we will give one for the Zoom room we will give one for Facebook and we will give one for YouTube. So it's going to be an exciting week, I think. We have lots of great programs, but before I stop, and I will stop very soon because we are very blessed to have great talent this morning to give presentations. But I just wanted to point out that perhaps this year as much maybe more than other years. We truly need to celebrate our right to think and read freely. This is a year of what? Fake news and alternative facts and people wanting to create their own story instead of believing the truth. Last, fall at a, at a university in Georgia. Students burned books. They didn't like what the speaker said, some of them, so they burned book, the book. Now other students on that campus expressed their 
concern and outrage that that happened. We also see cutting parties to get rid of copies of Harry Potter because the very good citizens do not want to break the burn rules. They're not allowed to burn their trash. So they do these cutting parties instead. We also, I think, hear about journalists being killed all over the world. And all they want to do is their job so their people understand what's going on in their country. And in our own nation, our journalists who are working very hard to inform us, they get called names and criticized again because they are doing their job. Their job is to serve the public and to tell the truth, no matter who might not like it. Sometimes I don't like the truth either, but I still need to know about it and understand it. <clears throat> so welcome to the very best day of the whole year, at least one of the best days.